in a serious accident on the A16 near Kreuz Leibhausen. Three cars are wedged together. Ambulance is on its way. Who is taking over? Foxtrot 1, it's not far from us. We'll head there. Understood, Foxtrot 1. Foxtrot 1, an update for you. The ambulance has arrived. They report that a person is trapped in one of the vehicles. Roger, we're almost there. Get out of the way. We need to work here. Whoa, just like on T. Stop filming us. Please. Hey, there's no law against obstructing the ambulance service and making videos. Those are my fate. What do you want from me? Leave this scene immediately. Otherwise, you will go with us directly to the police station. I'm going. Am I glad I wasn't in one of those cars? You have no business here. Please leave. But I still need to see what happened. You have already seen enough. You might think so, but I don't. This is none of your business. If you are not a relative, I must ask you to leave. Come on, tell me something if I can't get any closer. You wouldn't want to be gaped out if you were in that position, would you? So. Please leave now. Outrageous! Don't talk to me like that! Am I glad I wasn't in one of those cars? You have no business here. Please leave. But I still need to see what happened. You have already seen enough. You might think so, but I don't. Unless you are a relative, I am not allowed to give you any information. I hope you understand that. Yeah. It just looks so bad. Would you like us to just stand on the sidelines and watch if you are ever involved in an accident? Outrageous! Don't talk to me like that! You We will investigate that, and our spokesperson will issue a message about it later. Until then, please let us do our job. Can't you at least tell me if those people are alright? That really worries me. Then I'll go. Honest. This is none of your business. If you are not a relative, I must ask you to leave. Come on, tell me something if I can't get any closer. You wouldn't want to be gaped out if you were in that position, would you? So, please leave now. You're right. I better go.
I'm sure I can get an even better shot of... Oh, can I help you? You would actually help by leaving the scene now. By the way, it is forbidden to take pictures of this. You can be given a hefty fine. No, no, that's not necessary. I'm going. Hello? Are you... Wha what? Ah! Everything hurts. What is your name? Try not to move at all. My name's Sebastian. What happened? Wait, Daniela. Where is she? Is she okay? Oh god, I'm so sorry. Stay calm, Sebastian. Your girlfriend is doing all right. An ambulance is about to arrive, and the fire brigade will then get you out of your car immediately. Oh, okay. Miss Medzger, excuse me, could I talk to you? I... I suppose so. I know this is not easy, but can you give us any information on how the accident happened? Suddenly, we crashed into something, and shortly after that, there was another crash behind us. It was just... chaotic. Nevertheless, please try to explain briefly what... No, I can't. I have to go to my boyfriend now. That wasn't too helpful. Still, better than nothing. What's the situation? We have seen to most of the people involved. Fortunately, there are only light injuries. However, the driver is still trapped. The fire brigade will see to him at once. Thank you for the update. We'd better get back to work then. Hello, Miss Bomb. How are you? Everything is okay. I don't think I'm hurt. Glad to hear that. Your car is the one at the back? Can I ask you a few questions about the accident? Of course. What can you tell me about how the accident occurred? There was a crash. Then the vehicle in front of me suddenly slowed down. And, and I crashed into it. Did they keep the minimum distance while driving? I don't... I don't know at the moment. You must pay attention to such things, otherwise you may be partly responsible. Yes, I understand. Maybe I really was too close. If you were already that close, did you perhaps see something in the vehicle in front of you? Now that you mention it, it looked like the two of them were having a row in the car. Does that help you? Definitely. Thank you for your statement. We've got it. We've got stuff to do here. Everything okay here? Well, yes and no. Most of the passengers are okay, but the driver is still trapped. Freeing him won't be easy. Is he badly hurt? Is he in danger? We've secured the vehicle against fire or movement, but we won't be able to judge the driver's condition until we get him out of there. I see. Thanks. 
We'll get down to work straight away. We've got it! There are more important matters. Providing first aid, for instance. We've got stuff to do here! Good afternoon, Mr. Schwab. Are you all right? All right would be an exaggeration, but it'll be fine. Then I'll ask you a few questions. Go ahead. We're not getting out of here that fast anyway. Please, tell me what happened from your point of view. How did the accident happen? It was very strange. A car was driving closer and closer to me. I thought he was going to overtake, but he just kept getting closer. Was the left lane busy? Was the car behind you unable to pull out? No, and that's the strange thing. Everything was clear on the left. But instead of changing lane or braking, he just drove into me. Sounds like the driver was not paying attention. We can't talk to him yet, but maybe we'll find something here. Thank you for the information, Mr. Schwab. Thank you very much for your help. No problem. After all, it's part of... If it was up to me, I would have fined them all straight away. We can't work like that. They certainly would have deserved it. But what's more important is that people will learn from it. I think our spectators have understood that too. But not as quickly as we wanted. You've got to put more urgency into your persuasion. These people were hanging around much too long. I'll remember that for the next time we have to deal with garpers. We've got stuff to do here. <laughs>